Family friends, followers of Father Rene Robert are getting ready to say goodbye to the beloved priest. This comes this coming Monday. In fact, a prayer service will be held in St. Augustine. A memorial will be held the next morning. Father Rene Robert's body was found in Burke, Georgia, after investigators say 28-year-old Stephen Murray kidnapped him and killed him before being caught in South Carolina. This morning, Father Renee's family is sharing more about his life and the legacy he leaves. Channel 4's Ashley Harding is joining us now live this morning. Ashley, what do they remember most about him? Well, Jen, they remember a lot. From the time he was a little boy, they said there was something very special about Father Rene Robert. They mostly remember the way he was with people. He even learned sign language so he could minister to the deaf. And just knowing that he touched so many lives in his time here on Earth really helps them through this tragedy. It's been very hard. Um, we're taking it one day at a time. Um, Right, Bray? Just taking one it one day at a time. That's all, time. That's all we can do. Through heartache and tears, the family of Father Rene Robert share memories of the good times, memories that make them smile. He was just special in every way. You know, he, he just, I called him a saint. I go, oh, here, <laughs> when he'd come home, I'd say, oh, here comes the saint. Because, <laughs> you know, his sister, you got to pick on him. <laughs> His siblings say from the time Father Rene was a small child, he knew his calling was to serve. He just loved everyone. After he was adopted by my mom and dad, and she took him to church, and um, he ran out into the aisle, you know, from the pew, and said, I want to go up there, I want to go up there, I want to be with that man. Yeah, he started out as an altar boy. Uh... After graduating from college, Robert went to seminary and became a Franciscan brother. He moved from New York to Florida to minister to the deaf. He just loved helping people. He loved, uh, just, ca he cared for people so much, like they were his own family. Father Rene's family says it didn't matter who you were, he was there for you, including prisoners and ex-cons. Police say that's how he met the man they say killed him. And that's the hardest thing, to have him taken from us, because he loves so many people. And I know he was reaching out to this gentleman, and, and I know he, a part of him loved him. The family now prepares to say goodbye. Two funeral masses are in the works, one at San Sebastian Catholic Church in St. Augustine, the other in his hometown of Waterford, New York. And that prayer vigil will be held at 7 o'clock on Monday at San Sebastian Catholic Church. That's off State Road 16 there in St. Augustine. And the funeral mass will be the next morning, Tuesday morning at 11 o'clock. That'll be at the same church. As I understand it, they're having to bring in extra chairs. There's already a lot of chairs and seats that fit into that church. I've been told actually about 1,300. They're going to need a lot more because they're expecting a very big turnout. Reporting live, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, the local station.